My name is Jason Montano. I am the lead pastor of Mosaic Church. And back in fall of 2019, we planted and launched our first public service in Slinger at Slinger Middle School. So when we started to dream about a more permanent location for Mosaic, uh, we dreamed about what would it be like to have a building for our community? What would it look like for a place that doors were open for the community to have meetings, for birthday parties, for bridal showers, where people could have weddings and funerals for nothing. This is a way that we can live out what we believe and love where you live. And so when we looked at 206 Slinger Road, we found an opportunity right in the middle of Slinger, right in the perfect location to say we're here, not for ourselves, but for our community. And so as we look at our new building, it has limited capacity. It's our vision is what can we do then to be a church that plants churches, that plants churches, that plants churches. What community can we be called to to say, hey, let's love where we live in a community that doesn't need another church. It needs a different type of church. One that's there to reach the people and to make multiplying disciples. What's been interesting for me to watch and to listen is people are coming and, and actually repeating back to us the idea of a mosaic. They said, we saw on your website, we've heard from somebody, and we love the idea that broken, unique people can come. Even though we always feel like we're not enough, God uses you exactly how you are and exactly who you are. So we talk about the concept of disciples making disciples, which sounds extremely overwhelming. I will actually in that moment say, okay, God, please give me the words. Your Holy Spirit, give me the words. And it's pretty awesome then, the things that will come out of your mouth. <laughs> like just having wisdom and um, sometimes just the presence and just being able to listen. Discipleship for us just begins with a safe place to explore a relationship, a conversation. Bridging the gap from outsider to insider, it's through relationship. And through relationship then begins conversation. From conversation, it's about who Jesus is. I'm Michelle Willie, and I'm a teacher at the high school. So Friday mornings at 645, I meet with eight kids in my classroom. We've talked about what specific people in our life can we start discipling. It's been emotional for some already, you know, talking about family members, you know. I'm just really transparent and open about where I'm at, and this is really hard for me. Been really focusing on like how we've each been chosen individually, where we're at, and the same was true for Jesus and his disciples. That's all Jesus, I have to give him all the credit for that. And I asked for it. I was praying for specifically for those opportunities and and he provided. It's not limited so much to just a certain amount of time on a Sunday. It's constantly trying to see where God wants to use me in my everyday life. It makes every moment, every conversation purposeful. I see a difference between someone who attends a Sunday gathering to someone who takes the onus of being a disciple-making discipler. The, the biggest thing is this. There is a love and a saturation of the gospel that fuels and fills their life every single day. So when they sit down, they get to talk about Jesus. They get to share the greatness of who he is. It's not something they have to do. It's something they live to do. And if we did that in everyday life, in every single interaction, the whole world would be transformed. That's what multiplication is.